Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angela Perot. Today I'm going to do a love reading for Aries. This is going to be for the second half of June. Remember the timing is flexible and this is a general reading. If you'd like something more specific, my information is in the description box. Uh, what else here? This will be for your sun, your moon, your rising, and your Venus. You can check out your other signs um, in my playlist. I also have timeless readings in there as well. If you're new to my channel, uh, the first half is the tarot. The second half is the oracle portion. Let me just cut the cards here. All right, so for the oracle card portion, it's pick an angel. There's three stacks. You'll pick which angel you're most drawn to. The first um, stack is the feminine angel. Second stack is the baby angel. And then the third stack is the, actually this is the feminine angel. First stack is the masculine. They're kind of really hard to tell apart, but this is the masculine, the baby, and then the feminine. So choose which one you're most drawn to, and then those will be the messages for you. So we'll get back to those. Let's start the reading. Also, feel free to check out my website, IamAngelLove.com. I have some great um, bracelets on there and some other information. It's a work in progress. Um, soon, I'll hopefully have some photos of me on there. All right, here we go. Thank you, angels and spirit guides, for your guidance. What does Aries need to know for second half of June? What does Aries need to know? Let's get three cards, please. Three cards. There's one. There's two. Let's get one more card. Okay. <clears throat> All right. First card out is the Queen of Cups. So if you'll hear this could be somebody um, from your recent past. Um, or this could also be you as well, Aries. But I feel here that there's somebody in your life here that's very kind, very giving, um, thinks about your feelings. Um, very, very generous person. This could be a water energy, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, so I feel here, um, you know, this person in your life uh, may have try to offer their love to you in the past okay if not um you know they may be reaching out to you but overall i'm feeling this energy is just very kind very giving very generous here okay so the next card that came out is the four of cups so i feel here aries that you're very focused on um this person actually i'm seeing here now with the queen of cups i feel here you're focused on this person and what they can offer you okay or you want them to offer you something i feel here this is this is your main focus i feel like you're not open to other opportunities so be careful there okay because it looks like you have other opportunities around you but i feel here you're not accepting them Okay, so I feel here this person has really greatly affected um, you and your mind focuses on them right now, okay? For some of you, I feel like this is a message too of them reaching out to you, okay? And then the next card that came out is the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel here... Um, I feel like for a lot of you, your focus is on long-term commitment or with this person. For others, I'm feeling like this is an opportunity for you to have a long-term commitment for this person, with this person. I feel that it will be a very stable relationship. I feel with combined resources financially, there will be a lot of stability in this relationship. Okay, so that's a good good card for you to have there. All right, let's move on to the second deck. I feel like this person 
Um, I feel like this person does um, have a lot of feelings for you here. I feel like you're very stuck on this person, okay? If there's somebody in your life. If there's nobody in your life right now, I feel like there that you, there is somebody coming in for you, okay? Like it potentially be long-term. All right, here we go. Thank you, angels and spirit guides, for your guidance. Just tell us what does Aries need to know. Let's get two cards, please. What does Aries need to know? Two more cards. Two more cards, please. What does Aries need to know? Let's get two more cards. Let's get one more card, please. One more card. Whew. There we go. Okay. So the first card that came out is the Eight of Swords. So, yes. Yeah. So I feel for a lot of you, you've been focused on this person. I feel like um, in some sort of way you've been feeling stuck or feeling trapped or maybe just feeling in a position where you feel like you can't move forward, like you can't move on from the relationship um, or you can't move forward with the relationship. I feel like you're kind of stuck in the middle here, okay, having a lot of anxiety about it. I feel here you've given a lot um, and now you're in a place where you're just feeling like you can't. Um, you're not going anywhere, you're not moving anywhere, doing a lot of thinking about it, okay? But you do have the free will here. You can see she can take off the blindfold, she can take off her ties, her hands are in front of her. Um, so remember, this isn't about male or female, it's about the energy. Next card is the Seven of Cups. So I talked about you being focused on this one person in your life, um, missing out on possible other opportunities here. Um, I'm definitely feeling here that you have a lot of good opportunities around you. I'm feeling that it's not just in love. I feel like there's other areas of your life, um, you know, with this card can also signify confusion. Um, but I feel here with the rainbow and all the cups around you here, I feel this is about you having a lot of different opportunities, okay, coming your way, which is a good thing, even though you're focused on this one love interest is what I'm seeing. The next card is the Knight of Cups, okay? So I feel here that mm, Aries, this person, and I talked about water energy again, um, or I talked about water energy before, <coughs> excuse me. And here we are, cup energy again. So Knight of Cups, uh, this could be uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. I feel like this person may be reaching out to you. They may, um, for some of you, they may be bringing a gift. For some of you, this could also be a proposal um, for marriage. Um, because I see here it's falling on the Ten of Pentacles. That's probably a small percentage of you. Um, or for some of you, this may be an apology. Okay. So, nevertheless, I feel like um, this person in your life, um, this love interest in your life, will be reaching out to you. All right, let's get three more cards, please. Please tell us, what does Aries need to know? Let's get three cards, please. Three cards. What does Aries need to know regarding love? Second half of June. Let's get two more. Two more cards, please. Uh-oh. There's one, one flipper. Let's get one more card, please. There it is. Okay. All right. <clears throat> First card is the Hierophant. Okay, so I feel here, you know, I feel like some of this anxiety that you may be having or this person may be having is about commitment, okay? Somebody here may be having a hard time about commitment, okay? This can also be family. Uh, family may be intervening in the situation which um, may be causing some anxiety or stress here. Um, but for a lot of you, I feel like this is about commitment. Second card out is Three of Pentacles. 
So I talked about opportunities, not only opportunities um, with love. I feel some of you may have some opportunities with career or projects, um, maybe having some new creative ideas. Um, but I feel also, too, this is working towards commitment, okay? Next card that came out is Four of Swords. So I feel here this person, um, this Knight of Cups that I talked about, I feel like this person has really taken a lot of time, um, thought about things. Like I said, I feel like this person will be reaching out. Um, but I feel here there may be a little rest period or a little break period here before they reach out. Um, so I don't... No, I don't feel that it will be immediate, um, but I do feel like this person will be reaching out soon within the next couple weeks. All right, let's move on to the first um, Oracle stock. So if you picked the Masculine Angel, let's see what cards you have here. First card from the Romance Angel deck is open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. It is safe for you to love. Okay, so I feel you or this person, like I said, is having a hard time committing or it may take some time. Um, but I feel here <clears throat> they're just trying to let you know that, you know, you may have been heartbroken in the past, but don't let that stop you from loving again. Okay. Don't compare your past <clears throat> heartaches to the future. The next card is from the Angel Answer deck. It's called Hurt Helpful People. And um, I feel here, this is not only about your inner circle of people helping you, but this is also um, people outside of your circle that help you. And I feel that they're heaven sent or they're angel sent. I feel that um, you'll experience some instances, or you may have already, where somebody does a random act of kindness, okay, that makes you feel good here. So I feel those are gifts um, from the universe, from your higher power, from your angels, whatever you believe. The next card is from the Goddess Guidance Oracle deck. It's called Sorceress. You are a magical person who can manifest your clear intentions into reality. All right, so beautiful card here. So I feel here <clears throat> you're definitely manifesting um, what you want. And like I said here with the Seven of Cups, I feel here you have a lot of opportunities. So this is an indication that you are, in, are manifesting what you want and what you need in your life right now. The next card is from the Lover's Oracle deck. It says, give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way. Know that you deserve to be and have all that your heart truly desires. So yes, you deserve to have love here. All right. The last card that I pulled is a message from Archangel Michael. It's called Sense of Humor. And it says, this situation would benefit from your sense of humor. View your experience as if you were watching a scene from a movie. What do you find humorous about human nature? By getting a new perspective on everyone's behavior, you can automatically detach with love. Humor allows people to drop their defenses so that love can enter and heal the situation and relationship. That's why God and the angels have a wonderful sense of humor, and so do you. So possible specific meanings, know that laughter is the best medicine, watch a funny movie or TV show to boost your mood, <clears throat> your life's purpose may involve comedy writing, acting, or speaking, learn some new jokes as a way to help your relationships. And the prayer, if you want to say it with me, is... Thank you for helping me see the humor in this situation so I can lovingly laugh at human nature. I am willing to view my experience in a new light in order to attract love and healing. So very nice message there from Archangel Michael. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like, and comment. I appreciate it. Again, if you want a personal reading or you want to check out my website, it's in the description box. And I'm going to move on to 
the baby angel. And the first card is from the Romance Angel deck. It says, you have known each other before, past life relationship. So this is your angel saying, this is definitely a soulmate um, connection here. Somebody from a past life. So very, very strong uh, <clears throat> bond here. This person does love you um, and you, probably already feel like you've known this person before you even met. <clears throat> Excuse me. The next card that came out is from the Angel Answer deck. It's called Yes. So this is your angel saying yes to whatever the question that's been on your mind. Um, and I feel here, whatever that is, your angels are saying you're going to feel good about it. You're going to feel happy about it. And there again, there's the rainbow here. So peace and happiness coming there. <clears throat> the next card is from the Goddess Guidance Oracle deck. It's called Independent. Your independence is a foundation for your strength and success. So yeah, so Aries, you are very, very independent here. So I feel here that is what um, has given you the strength and the foundation to keep going through this. <clears throat> the next card is from the Lover's Oracle deck. It's called Secret Admirer. Someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. Okay, so you may have somebody new who's admiring you, or this may be this person in your life um, who is not really expressing too much how they feel. Okay, so they may have deeper feelings than they're letting on here. Okay, so the last card that came out is a message from Archangel Michael. It's called Let Go of Fear Now. <clears throat> Archangel Michael says that fear is the only thing interfering with your happiness and plans. He wants to show you how to release any worry or dread so you can feel safe and secure. This card indicates that you're ready to let go of control issues and trust that everything ultimately works out for the best. Possible specific meanings, you're going in the right direction, you deserve all that is good just as we all do, allow yourself to receive love, support, and abundance, you are lovable. And the prayer, if you want to say it with me, is... Archangel Michael, please help me feel safe and deserving of your guidance. Thank you for clearing me of heavy, toxic, or ego-based thoughts or feelings. So beautiful message there from Archangel Michael. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like. I appreciate it. You can um, check out my website, IamAngelLove.com, and my information is in the description box if you'd like a personal reading. And the last stack um, is the Feminine Angel. We chose stack three. And the first message is honestly discuss your feelings with each other, heart to heart conversations. So I feel here, <clears throat> I feel here the two of you are gonna work together here on this relationship if you choose to do so. Um, and I feel like there's gonna be some conversations here. Like I said, I feel here with the, with the Knight of Cups. Uh, for some of you, there could be engagement. For some of you, I feel like there may be an apology here. But I definitely feel here this person's going to reach out. The next card is from the Angel Answer deck. It's called The Situation Will Improve. Okay, so I feel here there's assistance here from your angels. I feel like they're helping you with your inner guidance. Um, and helping you see the light or the hope that things are going to work out here, okay? The next card is from the Goddess Guidance Oracle deck. It's called Endings and Beginnings. The old must be released so that the new can enter, okay? So for some of you, um, there may be some situations um, that might be holding you back like I talked about here with the Eight of Swords. Um, you know, you there may be um, 
somebody here in the relationship may be trying to control the situation. Um, for some of you, there may be past relationships um, that you need to let go of. Uh, for some of you, you may decide not to move forward, okay, with this connection here. Um, but this is a message for some of you that in order to open new doors, you need to um, close, um, you need to release that old energy before new energy can come in. And that can be in any area of your life, not just in love. <clears throat> and the next card that came out is from the Lover's Oracle deck. It's called Freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Okay, so I feel here there's a strong message that some of you um, may not want this person in your life, may want to move on, okay? And that you have the freedom and you have the fit, the will to do what's going to make you happy, okay? And, um, you know, goes right along with this message of endings and beginnings, okay? You have the free will to do what's best for you, okay? The next card that came out is a message from Archangel Michael. It's called, You're on the Right Path. And this message says, you've drawn this card as validation that your thoughts and actions are in the right direction towards achieving your life's purpose and inner peace. You've been carefully listening to your guidance from within and the angels applaud you for following it faithfully. Although you may not clearly see what's up ahead, the angels want you to know that they're guiding and protecting you every step of the way. Keep up the good work. <clears throat> Excuse me possible specific meanings it's a good time to begin a new project start a business pick up a book or make a positive lifestyle change listen to your inner guidance even if others don't understand trust that you'll be financially supported as you move forward with your plans <clears throat> and the prayer if you want to say it with me is archangel michael i call upon you now thank you for giving me loud and clear guidance that i easily understand Thank you for motivating me and filling me with the courage and confidence to make healthful life changes. Okay, so beautiful message there from Archangel Michael. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you did, please subscribe, like, comment. I appreciate it. Again, if you'd like a personal reading, uh, my information is in the description box. You can also check out my website, IamAngelLove.com. And I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.